How far would you go to help another person? Would you risk your life to save theirs? Suction. Are we trapped? He's got a lacerated artery. Can you tie it off? I don't know. I can't see. More suction. Can I get some more light in here? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Ah, he's hemorrhaging. His pulse is steady and barely palpable. We're losing him. Did you see Maxie get grabbed? I saw what everybody else did. There was a loud clap at the end of the entire house shook, and I look around, and she was gone. I need to find her. Georgie, think about what you're doing. My sister is in trouble. And I'm going with you. Coop, you're wasting your time, man. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Maxie's just running off to get some attention, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Or maybe you thought this was the perfect time to get revenge against Maxie for what she did to Lulu. And now that all hell's broken loose, you got your chance. Come on, man. Let's be on paranoid, all right? Really? Yeah. Hey, don't walk away from me. Oh, where is she? What'd you do to her? Do it, Dan. Answer the question. What'd you do to her? Get off me, man. <sighs> get anything as a car. You're the one that's crazy, aren't you? I have to get this artery tied off. How's this pulse? Same. I'm going to use the washcloth, put pressure on the vessel so Patrick can get to it. There's a bleeder. All right, that's it. I'm telling the doctors they have another patient. Don't get down. Don't get down. Obviously, I'm fine. I'm fine. More suction. Hold that vessel steady. Can you get more light in there? Damn it. I need more light. so much blood it's hard to see what's going on I tied up all the vessels i could see but there's still substantial bleeding can't control the bleed if i don't know the source okay we'll trace the anterior side of the wound maybe the sword nicked another vessel yeah you're right i got it yeah, it's calm I'm all right i'm gonna tie this vessel off and it'll sew them up Lower right abdomen is slightly distended and tender, and it hurts more when I when you let go. Appendicitis. Okay. Looks like it. Is there anything you can do to help her? <sighs> Emily, is there anything else in the house we can use for pain? Um, I think Nicholas has something left over from when he hurt himself riding. Definitely go get it. I mean, the surgery we did on Rick was the best we could manage. There's no way we can do an appendectomy. Emily, I'll go with you. You shouldn't be walking around alone. Um, I wanted to tell you that I brought the supply ship around from the other side of the island. I could get Rick and Alexis back from Maiden. Oh, I don't have Rick and Spud. Like that. Rick needs a blood transfusion. He's not being moved. He's going to die. This is a pretty unsuccessful trip. All we got is one pain pill and a portable defibrillator. If I'm lucky enough to have my heart stop. Let me rest in peace. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Maybe starting Rick's heart's not going to do any good if there's no blood to pump. If we're going to give him this transfusion, it has to happen now. Look at him, son. Look at him. He can't hurt you. What are you going to do? Sonny won't let him die. All right, let's, let's do this. Oh, I know, I know. We can try and manage the pain here, but there is no way we can do an appendectomy. Oh, how long before a burst appendix becomes a real possibility? Uh, there's no way to know. It's an hour's probably, if it even is for appendix. Well, I'll have the boat waiting. I can get Alexis to the mainland. There's no way you're going to make it. The harbor's closed and the storm's getting worse. It, yeah, it'll be dangerous, but it beats the alternative. Oh. It's up to you. Oh. You feel like taking a boat ride with me in the storm? Oh. If I can get you to a hospital? Mm. Yeah. Lucky, you in here? Lucky, can you hear me?
you doing here? I was going to look for any pain medication that you might have left over from when you hurt your arm. So you decided to wander around the house with a lunatic on the loose? Why would you do that? I was also trying to find you. Nicholas, is this, this is the last place that okay, you go. Right, but, I thought that you might come back here but to why, start. Why would you take that risk, right, Emily? Why stop, would you do... Stop. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Look, it's all right. I'm sorry. I thought you might want to die in each other's arms. It's a lot easier than being left alone. Nicholas! Nicholas! It's over. I came to take you home. You don't want to go home. You keep running away from home. Listen to me. I want to get out of this place. I don't care about any of this, and neither do you. There's nothing for us here. Let's go home. Not just yet. Not until you stop lying to me. How many have to die before you understand? You get my point? Let me make it crystal clear. The next bullet goes right between your eyes. What the hell is that? Your father's a lunatic. Why isn't he locked up? Did you lock up a member of your own family? Or put a bolt in them just because they're dangerous? God, Nicholas, can you please tell me how to get back to the ballroom? What happened? Where, where were you? Anthony Zakara grabbed me and tried to get me to play Russian roulette. Sorry. Screw your apology. Your dad wanted me to put a gun to my head. How'd you get away? Your stupid house saved me. Anthony got all turned around looking for a game room, so I broke a vase over his head and ran. I got lost, but Lucky found me. Lucky? You've seen Lucky? What? Yeah, um, he dropped me off at the main entryway. I thought I could find my way to the ballroom, but... Well, there's no one in the ballroom anymore. Everyone's moved to the parlor near the north entrance. Okay, well, I need to get there. George is probably going crazy. Long. I'll take you. Yeah, right. Why would I trust you? Maxie, you're probably safer with him than anyone else. He just talked Anthony down. Fine, come on. See? Nicholas Lucky's all right. I knew you couldn't hurt him. Okay, breathe for me. I wish I could. I wish I could breathe for you, Emily. I wish I could live for you. I wish I could do a lot of things for you. But we both know this blackouts are getting worse, and I, and I don't know what to do. You invited me to go to Italy, huh? To Sardinia a while back, but the timing wasn't right. Hmm? Well, why don't we go there on our honeymoon? <laughs> It's off season in Sardinia right now, Emily. Oh, yeah, well, what about the rest of Italy? You can go wandering through the streets of Florence, <sighs> visiting medieval villages in I, Tuscany, I taking gondola rides through Venice. I don't care where we go. Honestly, I just, I just want to be happy with you wherever we go. Okay, well then you promise me. First thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna set a wedding date and we're gonna stick <sighs> to it. good to me. Sometimes I can't, I can't believe that I actually got you back. I'm just selfish. <laughs> <laughs> I realized that my life wouldn't be complete without you. You know, if I never met you, I would just ended up like my uncle and the rest of the Cassonites, but somehow you brought me back. And all you ever really did was love me. That's all you ever did. No. 
as if I had a choice. <laughs> I was gone for you from the very first moment we met. And I knew it was love. It just took me a few years I to know, convince I you know. of that. <laughs> I know, but I wasn't having blackouts then when I met you. I want you to protect yourself from me. I trust you. I trust who you are. And I know that you would never hurt me. I know it's selfish, but I just wish that we could stay here together. So do I. If it's too dangerous, I'm going to take you back to the North Parlor with the rest of the guests, okay? All right. But I want you to stay with me. <laughs> Emily, the man who just tried to kill us is loose in my house. I have to stop him. Yeah, but other people are searching for him. Yeah, I know. In, in my house, I have to at least make an attempt to protect the people that I invited here. Looking for Anthony Zakara would be dangerous, even if you were in the best okay, of health okay. and conditions. I know, fine. I'll, I'll be careful, I promise. I'll be we careful. We just got engaged. I want us to have a long and happy life so together. If something happens... I know, so do I. I feel the same I know, way. I if you what stay you... with me, then maybe you... Why, maybe why, you why are you fighting me on this? Do you think I can't protect you? No. Is that what this is you about? You just all no, that's got it. strangled a few minutes ago. No, you're lying to me. You don't trust me. You haven't trusted me for one second during this whole thing. Why don't you trust me? happened I know I know I, I know I hurt you I know I frightened you I can see it in your eyes please please you're upset Nicholas because you thought that I didn't trust you to protect stop, me stop it stop making excuses for me I can't I can't control myself not even with you the one person I love most in this world okay Nicholas you listen to me okay we're gonna have to go back to the no. other room where all yeah, the Emily, other people Emily, are how, this is how, how much longer how much longer are we gonna lie to ourselves I I don't know what I just did to you and the only reason that I know what I did is because you tell me what I did. Do you understand what just happened? Okay, don't worry about me, okay? We're gonna get you help. All right? Okay. 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 We can't get it. We can't. We can't get it tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. you to protect yourself from is me right now. I couldn't live with myself. Okay? All you have to do is just leave me in here until this is over. That's all. Oh, I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay? You can. Just as soon as you turn this in. Here. I want you to go back to my car with the rest of the guests, okay? No, it's okay. It's okay. Please, please don't make me do this. Yeah, this is the only way I have to protect you. Please don't take that away from me.
was that? You out there? Emily, answer me! No, it's just the wind, Nicholas. I'm fine. Um, I'm gonna go to the North Parlor to be with the other guests, okay? Emily, wait, wait. I don't, I don't think this was such a good idea. I need to be out there with you. Okay? Please. Emily! Nicholas, I'm fine. Okay, I'm gonna be all right. No, no. I can't, I can't leave you alone. I can't, I can't protect you from in here. You need to let me out. Please. Please, you can trust me. Just let me out. Emily, please, please, you can't leave me in here. Please. You say you love me. Well, you show me. Please, just let me protect you, okay? Please let me out of here. Emily, please. You let me out of here right now! You let me out of here! Get me out of here! Please! Try to stabilize him until we can get him to the hospital. Yeah. We need to get a helicopter. Nobody's flying in this weather, Tracy. We gotta do something. I know. All right, do you have Edward's heart medication on you? What? Do I? Yes, I do. I do. It's in my purse. I brought it when I thought Daddy was coming with us. Okay, where is it? Where's your purse? I don't know. I have no idea. I fell down the stairs. They brought me in here. I don't know if it came with okay, me. Okay, stop. Did you see? Tracy, deep breath. Okay, retrace your steps. Um... It's in the entryway. It's a black velvet clutch with a... All right, I'll find it. Emily, there's not any aspirin in there. There's just a seat of medicine. Okay, uh, I need you to, to go and get me a portable defibrillator. All right. Okay, you, you're going to go uh, back to the main staircase, yeah. uh, cross landing the first bedroom. Can you talk to me? There's one in there. Spring, spring, spring. Luke, you just had a heart attack, okay? You lie still. Don't talk. Okay, right. Don't don't talk. Don't talk. I'm sorry I made you talk. Don't talk. Because um, if you make me a widow, I'll never forgive you. It isn't happening. I hate to be harsh with you here, Luke, but someone who heaps abuse on his body his whole life can't be surprised when his body hits back. She's right, you know. Some people treat their bodies like a temple. You treat yours like the town dump. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun. Listen, you just had a heart attack, okay? If you try to move, you could have another one. I'm not gonna let that happen, so you just lie still, or I'm gonna have to tie you down. Well, now, there's an offer you don't get every day. Too bad you can't do anything about it. Go to hell. One more word to upset Luke, and I'm gonna throw you out of here myself. And I don't care if Anthony Sakara uses you for target practice. Did you get the purse? Yeah, here it is. Saved your life, Spencer. Okay. I need you to go and help Logan get the portable defibrillator back here. Go back to the main staircase, cross the landing. It's the first door on the right. Move! Hey. Nitro pills. Okay. <clears throat> Put one right under his tongue. 
What did you tell her? I'll be damned if I let you make me a widow. All right, Tracy, we got it. Yeah, all right, put it right there. You're not gonna shock him? No, his heart appears to be back to a normal rhythm. Normal? You mean I just risked my life for nothing? If he has another heart attack, then he's gonna need this. And we're not gonna give him another heart attack, are we? Get out and take this one with you. Sorry about this. Sweetheart, you just hold on till we can get you some help. Listen, Tracy, just um, keep him calm, okay? And don't let him put any more strain on his heart. Okay. Why are you leaving? Yeah, there's, uh, there's something I gotta do. What's more important than a man's life? I'll be right back. I thought you went to go look for him. No, he wasn't where I left him. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking. Hey, hey, hey! My husband needs you more than Nicholas does. Okay. Um, here, let's hear this. Uh, all right, the, uh, the medication seems to be working. Okay, look, just uh, lie still as possible and we're gonna get you off this island. That's it? I just told him that. I'm sorry, Tracy. I've got to find Nicholas. Well, I'm sure my brother would be thrilled to find out what a dedicated medical professional his daughter turned out to be. Oh, lighten up, Spanky. Didn't you see her face? She's desperate. Well, she should be concerned her boyfriend's mental case. Look, in case you missed it, there's a lunatic running around here, spearing people with swords, along with assassins with guns. So if you could set aside your jealousy for Elizabeth look, one look, second... Look, before you get all judgmental right. and jump to conclusions, there's a lot more going on here tonight than you know. Yeah, obviously there is. I was, I was quite surprised to hear that Jason was on the Of night. course he is. Yeah. Why wouldn't he be? Elizabeth is here, and he's always running after her. Or, I don't know, maybe he came to stop Anthony Zakara, but I don't know. You, I wouldn't be able to tell you, because Jason's never really honest about his motives anymore, Sam, so... enough. Where's Emily? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I, I, I was in the wine closet with her, and the next thing I remember, I'm outside in the hallway alone. Another blackout? Maybe you don't understand how dangerous it is to be walking around you here. You just get off my back, please? Nicholas flips out without warning. He'll just beat up anybody that gets in his way. Isn't irrational behavior business as usual when it comes to the Cassidines? Not for Nicholas. Who did he attack? Me, twice. And both times, a guy could have really hurt me if somebody had stepped in and helped me out. Well, going off on you is understandable. Has Emily been here? Well, she went to look for you. Dad, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. fine. Yeah, he had a heart attack. What, out of nowhere? Well, it's kind of how it happens. Son. Well, with a little help from Anthony Zakara. Zakara, he was. What happened? You ran into him? What, what did he do to you? You know what? Let me explain later, okay? Your father needs to rest. You know, my wife here is in mama bear mode, so be careful. It's not as sexy as other roles she plays. But... Is there anything I can get for you? Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nicholas? What'd you get here? The storm destroyed all of the launches. I, I took a speedboat. Better yet, what, what are you doing here alone? I'm looking for Nicholas. 
Okay, this is the situation, Jace. Nicholas's blackouts are getting worse. So he asked me to lock him up in the wine closet to protect me and everybody else from his rages. But when I did, he started yelling for me to let him out. It was awful. And Jace, I don't know when Nicholas is normal and when he's not. So, so I just walked away. And then when I came back to get him, he wasn't there okay, anymore. Look, I, I know that you're worried about Nicholas, but he can take care of himself. I need to take you down to the stables right now. No, no. I can't leave Nicholas. Seth, have you seen Emily? Not for some time. I had another blackout, and this is the last place I saw you. I haven't seen her. You have no idea what happened. No, no, but if I did this, I pray to God that I didn't hurt Emily in the process. Did, does this radio work? Uh, I'm afraid the news is not good. The storm is not due to lift until daybreak. So what, so you're telling me the boats can't get here until... Are you all right, sir? Do I have much of a choice? I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. I'm... I have to be fine. Friendly, excuse me. I just need you to be reasonable. Elizabeth, Spinelli, Lulu, Nadine are at the stables. I want to take you down there. I promise you I will come back and I will find Nicholas. No, you need to trust me on this, Jace. We have to go look for Nicholas together. Come on. No, no, no. Listen to me. You don't understand how dangerous it is in this house. One wrong turn and you're dead. You need to come with me right what? now. No! What are you doing? You get your hands up there. Love someone forever, yet lose them in a heartbeat. Wait, I'm not going to leave him tied up so Anthony's a car can get Listen, to him. You're, you're not safe with Nicholas. No, he would never hurt me. He already has hurt you. Look, I'm, I'm not saying he did it on purpose, but he's dangerous to be around. Am I? Did I do that to you? You don't remember. It, no, it, it doesn't matter that I don't remember. It, did I hurt you? Please tell me. Please tell it me. It matters to me. Hurt you. Nicholas, did you do it on purpose? No, 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 I would never, I would never do, do that on purpose, please. Please, you have to know that I would never do that to you. All right, okay. I'm staying. Jason, 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 you have to leave me here. Please, please take her somewhere safe. Take That's her not somewhere your decision me. to you, you Just do it, just do it. Please take her somewhere where I can't hurt her again. Just get her away. Leaving you, okay? Emily, 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 I promise you I will, I will survive this night and I will get help for whatever is wrong with me and then I will marry you. Would you have to respect me enough to do this for me? Would you please do this for me? Just do it for me! Nicholas, Nicholas, look at me. Out of that for one second from you. Would you please just get her out of here? Get out of here! Get out of
Same thing already here? Yeah, there's been no sign of Zakhar and, and Spinelli's in the back of the game. Where's Nicholas? He's in the house. Emily will fill you in with everything. Jace, will you please go back and check on him and just make sure that he doesn't get hurt? The best way to do that is for me to find Anthony Zakhar. Okay. It's gonna be okay. When you say that, I know it's gonna be true. Blackouts are getting worse. Jason wanted me to come back here for safety. Uh, Nicholas walked in, saw us arguing, thought that Jason was hurting me. Nicholas went berserk. Jason had to fight back just to stay alive. Where's Nicholas now? He's uh, he's in the ballroom. Jason tied him to a chair and then brought me back here for safety. But Elizabeth, I can't stand the thought of him being alone. Anything could happen. Jason? Did you get Emily to a safe place? Alfred? This is just too easy. Not much of a host, are you? Sitting here, tied to this chair with so many guests in the house. Oh, next time you throw a party, don't bother to invite me. Yeah. <laughs> Who will provide the entertainment? Girlfriend, tie you up? I'm basically a prude, but I understand some people like this kind of thing. Why don't you just let me go, huh? <laughs> Somebody worked very hard to put you there. It would be rude to remove you. You seen your girlfriend lately? No, of course not. You don't have any idea where she is. What did you do to her? She's stashed away where nobody can find her. I'm saving her for later. We'll see if she likes being tied up too. Freeze! I'll kill No, 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 don't, 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 don't shoot him. He has Emily. You tell me where. Oh, there's a good idea. I'll tell you where I've got the girl, and that'll give you no reason not to blow my head off. He was he be lying. Huh? Yes, he could. Then again, he could be too crazy to make things up. But if he's too crazy, it's all made up. Not made up, made up. Not made up, made up. Made up. I hope that was helpful. He, t he told me before you came in. Come on, he's messing with your head. No. This would be messing with his head. He's crazy. You okay? I won't be okay until I'm least safe. This feels so wrong to be hiding here when I should be with Nicholas. Do you want a distraction? My fiance is in the main house, tied to a chair. Elizabeth, how are you going to distract me from that? Jason told Lucky that he's Jake's father. That's unexpected. You're not surprised? I knew Jake was Jason's son. It was obvious you didn't want anyone else to know. Am I am so sorry I didn't tell you. I just hated the idea of putting anyone in the middle or having to pick sides, you know? Listen, you can only do the best you can do. So what about Lucky? I mean, what did he say when and Jason told him. He was devastated. Yeah. All I can see is that I betrayed him yet again for Jason. I don't think he'll be forgiving me anytime soon. And enough pain over Jake. I don't want to cause him anymore. He'll figure out who Sam is soon enough. Do you hate me for this? Elizabeth. Are you kidding? I love you. You're the best friend I've ever had. And I'm so, 
sorry for what this has cost you. I just feel like I've messed up every step of the way. Look, I know who you are in your heart. And so does everybody else. I know that you did what you thought was best for your children and for Lucky. Please don't be so hard on yourself, okay? My God, who hasn't made mistakes? <laughs> so what now? Huh? For you and Jason? Oh, I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to make it through the night and see how we feel in the light of day. Yeah. Getting through the night would be a relief. <laughs> yeah. I should have never let Jason and Nicholas talk me into leaving when every nerve in my body was screaming for me to stay. Elizabeth, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna be with the man I love. Oh, no, I am. It's not safe. Okay, then I'll, I'll come with you. No, no, no. Then thank you. But it's my risk to take, okay? And I know that Nicholas would do the same for me. Like, the sun's gonna be up in a few hours, okay? Everything's gonna be back to normal. Nicholas is gonna be treated and diagnosed, and you and I are gonna sit down over tequila at Jake's <laughs> <laughs> and make wedding plans, okay? He'll be my maid of honor, right? <laughs> I was really needing something to look forward to right now. <laughs> Your maid of honor. I love you. I love you too. All right. Okay. I have to go. Be with Nicholas. Okay. All right. Please be careful, Em. and Emily would make it back here together. Yeah, Lucky, what, what if it wasn't Anthony Zagaro who tied up your brother? What if he was restrained for his own good? Why would you even think that? I, I know, I just have a really bad feeling about this. I don't think he lost us in the corridor. I think he ditched us on purpose. No, I'm, I'm staying no, here. No, I'm not going to leave. No, you can't. 